How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech. So how about using WhatsApp on your Apple Watch? Well, it's actually much easier than you think. Let's go ahead and begin and I'm gonna show you how you can do it right now. So first of all, we need to download an app and we're gonna download this app straight from our iPhone. So uh, let's start with it. So first of all, open your app store right here on your iPhone and the app you're gonna use to use WhatsApp on your Apple Watch is called Watch Chat. I'm gonna have uh, the name of it in the screen, I'm gonna have a link in the description and all of that, okay? So we're gonna be covered. So there you have it, that's the, that's the face of the app. So watch chat two for WhatsApp. Just ignore those bad reviews. Uh, a lot of people don't know how to use it. A lot of people have problems, but it doesn't mean it's a bad app. That's the only app that does it. It does it very well. It always works for me. So since I already have it, I'm gonna download it again. I just uninstall to show it to you guys. Um, just make sure to hit download. Uh, another very important thing is check the pricing. It is very important to check the pricing when you go ahead and uh, download this app. Uh, generally it is paid, but uh, don't worry about it because it's a very, very good app and it, it is not very expensive at all. So uh, keep that in mind. So there you have Watch Chat. Uh, now all you have to do is make sure to go to the Watch app right here on your iPhone and then make sure that it is installed on your uh, Apple Watch as well. So as you guys can see, it shows here available apps, Watch Chat is right here and it is still downloading. So make sure that it also downloads on your Apple Watch so then we can go ahead and start. Okay, so after a few seconds, it's gonna install and then go to the stop section right here. So just tap on it and make sure it says show on Apple Watch. So if it says show on Apple Watch, it means that the app is already installed on the Apple Watch as well. So right now, let's put our iPhone to the side we will need it uh, in a few seconds, but not right now. So then as we have it, so we have the Apple Watch right here. And so let's go ahead and open the app. So let's just go ahead, go to your home screen. Uh, so then just look for it. I know it's, it's here right at the top. So there you have it, watch chat. So open it up and of course uh, we need to set it up. Okay, uh, the way it works is actually very ingenious. It is very, very smart. Uh, the way it works is pretty cool. Uh, it uses uh, your Apple Watch as if it's a web, a WhatsApp web. So as if it's a computer. So it's gonna show up right here, um, uh, a QR code, and then we're gonna need to read from our iPhone the QR code and then allow it to use WhatsApp web on our, on our Apple Watch. Since we don't have an official WhatsApp app, that's the way to do it. So as you guys can see, it just opened the QR code. You're just seeing the QR code right here on the screen. So it takes a few seconds, uh, like 10 seconds as I was showing with no cuts or anything like that. So now that we have the QR code right here on the screen, all you have to do is go ahead and read from our iPhone. So uh, it's pretty obvious. So just get our iPhone right here, open the WhatsApp app, app go to settings, and then uh, let me go back. So go to settings and then you're gonna go to WhatsApp web slash desktop, as you guys can see right there. So WhatsApp web slash desktop and then scan QR code. So then scan the code and then just put on top of it and then it's scanned. And as you guys can see, it now shows right here on my iPhone that I have two devices. I just had one before, so then I have two devices. It has successfully scanned. And after this, just wait a few seconds. And as you guys can see, there you have it. You have WhatsApp on your Apple Watch, right? Like so easy. Conversations are the same. It's just a mirror of your phone, like as if you're just using WhatsApp app as, uh, web, as I mentioned. So it is just mirror of your phone. So same notifications, same group, same messages, same story. And of course, it is not only to view. So of course you can view uh, your feed. You can view all your conversations and everything like that. You can open group messages so you can see all your group messages and everything like that. And you can also, of course, uh, as well reply to them not only you see but you can reply so if i get this message for example uh it's also interesting to show you that you can see uh images so you can just tap on any image and then it's going to load a high resolution and then it loads as a high resolution image look at that perfect it just works perfectly so uh, it works for video as well but for video it takes a lot of time so i don't really recommend but for photos it, work, it works perfectly uh you can listen to audio messages as well here you can tap to reply so then you can reply with scribble 
So as you can see, you just scribble if you like using scribble. I particularly don't like scribble because it takes so much time, uh, but you can also reply with uh, emojis if you want. So here you have emojis. Uh, you can also reply using flick type. I have a video on flick type. This is a specific a keyboard for your Apple Watch. I have a full review on this app. If you wanna have a look on flick type, make sure to click on the link in the description or on the card right here and you can see my full review on flick type. So I'm not gonna show again on this video, but my best way to reply here on uh, your Apple Watch on Watch Chat is by using this awesome keypad uh, number pad as if you're using one of those old school phones. So uh, if you're not born in the 2000s, if you're born in the 1990s like I am, you definitely had a phone like that where you can just type uh, by pressing on the keys repeatedly to form a, 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 a a phrase, a sentence, a word or anything like that. For example, you can just go ahead and hit T and then E, S, and T, so then you type test, that's how we do it back in the day, so that's very, very cool, and then you can just hit send, of course, and send the message. So here you have all the possibilities, here you just have all the options, so as I mentioned, as I, as I mentioned you can see your feed, you can see your group messages, you can see your individual messages, uh, you can see photos, you can reply, you can do absolutely everything on the Apple Watch uh, that you can do on your iPhone, for example, but just on your wrist, and it just works perfectly. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to go ahead and hit the like button down below. Also, please, if you have any questions and anything like that, make sure to also uh, hit the comment box to let me know what you think about it. If, you, if, if you're like, oh, I'm not sure if I should buy it because of this or that, please make sure to go ahead and hit the comment box below because I will answer all the questions. And also uh, make sure to go ahead and have a look at this video because I'm sure you're going to love because this is awesome for your Apple Watch as well. So that's pretty much it, and I'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye-bye.